guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video we're going to be doing issue 117 of Build the Ecto-1. I cannot wait to do this with you. I'm just going to take out all the pieces, we're going to see what we got and then we're going to get building. Right guys, you will need to go and take this section that we were building in the last issue and what it wants us to do, it wants us to take 117A which will be this section here and it wants us to pop this on. So you want to have it so the shorter piece here is towards the bits here, the sun visors. So you want to make sure, lift that up, that should just sit in place there and then we will need to screw that into place and that's going to be held in by six RP screws so we'll just speed build through that get those popped in and then we'll come back and see what it wants us to do next Once all those RP screws are in place it should look something like that so you should have the bracket sitting waiting to go and then what it wants us to do next, it wants us to take 117B, which is going to be this section here, as you can see. And what it wants us to do, it wants us to just pop this little cover on top. So let's just take this, and then it wants us to pop this little cover on top of here. And as you can see, there are little cutouts on there as well, so that it can go in only one way. Once that's in place, you do need to um, just keep it there. And what we need to do next is we need to install these into the front. So these are like the little knobs. Um, so the only way to do these is you just have to break them off. So 117E will be the small ones. The big one towards the end is 117D. So if we do that one first, we should be able to just break it off like that. Take it this way round and it wants us to put it in the bit where the black is. Push it into the place push it down and then it should just go in like that it wants us to do the same with the others I think there's a spare one so there's only three uh, but there will be a spare so just wiggle them until they come off once you put those little knobs in place you should have something that looks like that so that looks pretty cool and the next thing it wants us to do wants us to make the telephone so or the radio control so you will need these two little sections here to pop it in place but what it wants us to do here it wants us to turn this cable into like a phone cable and how it's saying to do that is to wrap it around this so we're going to get that and then we're going to wrap it around really tight all the way around like so we do need to make sure that we keep some spare too push that down keep going we want to make sure we've got some left at the end as well. You want a bit that's quite straight as well on each end because we need to put them inside where it's got to go. And then when you pull that off, you should have something that looks like that. It's a little phone cable. So what we will need to do is one section of it will need to sit inside this box here. So that will just slide into that box there, like so. And then the other side of it will go into the end of this phone as well. And because these two sections only push together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a little bit of super glue in where the cable's gonna go. So we're gonna take that back out of there. And then what we'll do is we'll just hold it together, pop some super glue there, and then some on the end where the cable is going to go in. Then we're going to just glue that bit of the cable in place. Like so. And then as that will go off. As that goes off. We will then put the other piece in place as well. So I'm going to try and show you. So that will just go on there. Like so. And then the other section here. We'll clip over the top and then push together and then when the glue goes off that cable will then just be stuck in the bottom there. Sorry about the blurry bits but then that will then 
glue and be stuck in there and then we'll wait and do the same to the other side and then glue that into that side as well so we'll push that through that hole and glue that into place as well you do need to make sure that when you are gluing this one you want to make sure you glue it into this bottom one because the top one when it's this way round needs to screw into this bracket when it's dry so if you are going to pop a tiny bit of super glue on top like that let's just try and put a little blob on there and then push the cable into it As I said, that will stick in there absolutely fine. As you can see, you just want to make sure that you do it in that hole and not that hole, because that hole is going to be used to screw it into there, which we're going to do next. So the next thing it wants us to do is it wants it with the speaker side up, like so. It wants us to just pop that in place like that. And it wants us to pop two screws in either side. So let's bring it over here so you can see. So we're going to put two screws here on either side, and they're going to be the KP screws. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in just a sec. So as you can see there, those KP screws are now in place, and with the little handset, that will just clip into, there's a hole on the front here for that to go into, so we can get in there. I don't know if that hole's been made very well. Doesn't look like it has. As you can see, there is a tiny little hole on the side of there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a tiny little hole that this handset needs to go into. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we'll pop that in place. So once you have that in place, guys, what you need to do is then put your little handset into the hole that's on the front, push that in place, and then that will sit like that. So when it's up this way around, as you can see, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's try and focus on that. It will look like that. So with the cable hanging down, it looks really cool. Okay guys, as you can see now, they want us to install this on top or inside the Ecto-1. The only thing that I'm worried about is the lights on the side or the top of the vehicle are gonna get smashed off if we do this. We're gonna have to be really careful now that we've got it like this. So I think the best option, the best option is gonna be not turning it upside down, but we're gonna have to physically try and put it on its side to try and do this. And I don't know how, but we have to install the lights before we put it all together. So I don't know what we're gonna do here, but we're gonna try and figure something out maybe put it this way around on its side like so maybe try and hold it there without it breaking i don't really i don't really know what we're gonna do it's gonna be difficult because what it wants us to do okay we should be able to do this so was it what it wants us to do it wants us to put we need to just take this off here i hope you can see that okay wants us to put this roof paneling up here on there and it will go over the top of that there's two screws there goes over the top of those and it fits into place like that there are three screws or four screws that hold that in and they're the em screws and we need to put one there one there one there and one there I'm not going to let this go while I do it, so I'm going to go pop those in and then we'll show you where they are once it's done. Okay guys, so the only way I could get the roof panelling to stay was to be able to take this piece of foam and to tip this model up on its side. And then with it up on its side, I can then access the roof panelling and just have to hold it there to make sure. I can't put it on the roof because obviously it will break off the, um, you know, it will break off these little blue lights on the top. And if you put it on the side, you've got to be careful you don't break off anything else. So with it holding it on the side, you just need to get your screws in. So there are one, two, three, four screws holding that top panel in just there. But as you can see, that is really hard to do.